I'm Stephanie Suskind on the West Boca property at the center of this debate. We're on the western side of 441, just north of Clintmore Road. And I spoke to several business owners in the area today, but they didn't want to talk to me on camera about this issue because they say it's become too political. My crystal ball has been broken and all I can do is hope. Linda Smith with the Sierra Club Loxahatchee Group was one of hundreds watching the Palm Beach County Commission meeting very closely. We wanted to preserve the Ag Reserve. It is a special place. It wasn't built. It has good soil. It has good climate. It has good features for water retention already naturally built in. And through time, that has been whittled away by the thousand cuts. She worries if the land swap goes through, providing GL homes, land to build housing and more, it will be the final straw. Flood doors will be opened. We will become just like Broward, which is, I believe, about 100% built out at this point. Is that where we want to live and raise our children and grandchildren? But others don't see it that way. In exchange for the West Boca property, Palm Beach County will get land near West Lake for preservation and a water project. If you're concerned about preserving agriculture, I would say that that preservation up there and having the lands up there may actually be a better way to go. Neil Ambrosio lives in the canyon communities of West Boynton Beach. I think the Ag Reserve has been probably one of the largest political footballs in the you know, in Palm Beach County for a while. While several miles away from the area in question, he knows the history and feels the impact. I think you have, I don't know, more houses in the Ag Reserve than you do farms. If you look at this land swap just on its surface, I think objectively it does solve a water problem. And again, while many in this area did not want to share their opinions on camera, they did say they're looking forward to a resolution so they can move forward one way or the other. In West Boca Raton, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV, News Channel 5.